All right, so uh, I'm looking down at the phone. Uh, hopefully, I'll see some of you guys pop up in the chat. Oh, all right, so people are now in the new stream. Okay, so what I need to do is I'm going to post a link to this stream on our social media. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Yes. Okay, that's working. So, and I'm going to... Uh, we are live in the kitchen right now on the second stream. And I'll post that there. And then I'll post that there. And then I'll pin that. Okay, so... Join us in the kitchen. Link in chat. Okay. And then for the last thing, I'm going to send out the uh, tweet from Lookner Channel. We moved, why is it doing that? Why is it, it should not be doing this, crap. It should, the, the screen should not be dimming while I'm on it. That could be an issue if it's automatically, if it's like, if the screen is timing out or something. So we'll have to, I might have to fix that. Uh, Oops, oh no, that was wrong. That's right. Uh, I gotta get the link to the second stream. One moment, guys. I'm really trying here. That worked. Okay, so I'm going to mute this and I'm going to go into the kitchen. Okay, can people, why is this dimming? Why is this dimming? This is an issue. This should not be dimming. Uh, I might have to come back. I hope this stream doesn't mess up. Guys, my phone is doing this thing where it's dimming the picture. It's dimming the picture every like 30 seconds. So I got to go into my settings now. I know it's not dimming for you, but it's dimming for me. I got to see the phone. I got to go into my settings and turn off dimming. So I, th I think, guys, I think the stream's going to pause for a second, and I'll come back in a second. I, I have no choice. I have to go into my phone settings and turn off phone dimming, or else I won't be able to see the screen. So hold on. It's going to pause for a second. It's going to pause for a second. Just hang on. Okay, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Okay, guys, give me one second here. Give me one second. got to close some of these things. Hold on. Give me a moment. We're back. All right, hang on one second here. Give me one second, I'm coming right back.
Okay, we're back. Hang on, folks. Give me one more, one more second. We were almost back. Okay, so um, the uh, by the way, so um, if you're watching, yeah, switch to 1080. Uh, you, I'm using this thing called Prism Live Studio, which allows you to watch in 1080. So bump up, bump up your resolution to 1080, and let me know how the picture is and the sound is. Uh, the YouTube app does not seem to be working very well, so I'm hoping that this app gives me better picture and sound. But I need you to tell me how it's working for you. How is the picture? How is the sound? Maybe better? 1080 looks great. Wonderful. Okay, uh, give me one more second here. Okay, now, here we go. We're gonna do this. So SodaStream Terra, people are saying it looks good and sounds good. Uh, sound is better than ever, it's, it's Prism. Okay, so we have our SodaStream Terra and my goal is to get this set up. All right, so let's see this. Uh, I'm not going to give you the whole kitchen tour because I didn't know I was going to have people here. So I did not like, like there's like dishes out, not dirty dishes, but I haven't cleaned up in here and stuff. And so, uh, oh, are you seeing it backwards? That shouldn't be the case. Why are you seeing it backwards? I should be able to fix that. How do I fix this? How do I fix this? Let's see. Why is it like that? That's got to be a setting. Fixed. I just fixed it. I just fixed it. Ta-da! Right? Is it changed? Did it change? Is it fixed? It's fixed for me. Is it fixed for you? Okay. Where is it? I have to wash this out. This clearly I have to wash out first. It says, looks like you put in the dishwasher. I'm going to rinse this out. Just drop it in there. I'm basically going to shake this up. I'm, I'm rinsing out the bottle. Oops. I just got to get, I got to get all the soap out of the bottle now. Or it's going to taste like dishwasher detergent. Okay, I'm assuming this is clean. I just, I clean this. Okay, thing one is clean. Uh, wow, this is heavy. This is, the, this is the CO2 canister. Look at this thing. Look at this. This is the Quick Connect CO2 canister. All right, well, there's this. And then this is the actual machine here. Yes. Not too heavy. That's it. That's everything. That's everything. 
Look. Oh, here it is. I'm going to lower the camera, I think, so you can see the whole thing. That's everything. Oh, no. There's a, the, the bottle cap. I, the bottle cap is still here. I got a bottle cap. Let me um, maybe lower this a little bit or do this. There you go. Sorry, a bit of a mess in my... I did not know I was having guests over. Uh, Retrofan says, that's the one I got with my sister. I got to my sister. Uh, more compact than hubby's older one. I guess this is a new model. Okay. All right. Well, I use this spot for other things. Yeah, it'll fit here because I, I, I took everything out of there. I don't know where I'm going to put it permanently. Um, but uh, let me get the instructions. Hold on. So people are saying that the picture in the in the sound is good, which is encouraging. Um, I'm just doing a quick news check here because we're getting distracted doing this. I just want to make sure I don't miss any news. Uh, let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we're good right now. Okay. Uh, Factal News says, Bolsan Volcano erupts in Sorsogon, Philippines. Large smoke plume over crater. I miss, uh, you know, there's volcanoes, uh, erupting all the time. So I'm going to look this one up really quick. Uh, let's see here. It is one, it's an active volcano. So this regularly erupts. I'll keep an eye on it, but, uh, I will assume for the moment it's not anything gigantic, crazy. So we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. So, anyways, and I'm oh, I, I got to check the chat too. You know, I can open up my iPad, and then it makes it a little easier for me to read your messages if I have my iPad open and I have the broadcast open on my iPad. So let me do that really quickly here. Good. Okay, that's done. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, I can see myself. What am I watching? At, on 1080. Oh, the picture's pretty good. Hey, that picture's pretty good. Look at that. How's the sound? Testing, one, two, three. It's pretty good. Sound isn't bad. Yeah, the picture's pretty good. Okay, good. Yeah. Wonderful. I'm uh, wonderful. All right. Oh, sorry, you can see all the stuff in my... I cooked some rice. I didn't know I was having people over. I wouldn't have had the, the pot in the sink. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, anyways, what I was going to do is I was going to look at use this to look at your comments because they fly by on the phone. They fly by on the phone, but here we go. Now I can see there. Uh, looks and sounds great, says Linda Belk. Thank you, Linda and Sarah and AJ for modding. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have my instructions. Uh, 
carbonating button is up here. Carbonating tube is here. Bottle rest, snap lock system. Okay, I guess the back comes off. Number one, remove the plastic cover and pull off the cap. Remove the plastic cover and pull off the cap. It says, uh, the plastic cover is just this plastic thing here. Just have to get this to tear off here. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. That's the plastic cover. And, and it says, it says, remove the plastic cover and pull off the cap. I am pulling off this cap away from my face, I guess. This is serious. Look at this. Step one is done. Guys, step one is done. Okay, step two. Pull open the back cover of the soda stream. Here is the soda stream terror. Step two is done. The back cover is off. Step three. Raise the pink handle. Step three is done. Step four. Insert the cylinder bottom first. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can you see what I'm doing here? Bottom first, then I put it in like this. Good. And then it says, lower the handle for a quick connect. So I guess I just lower the handle and it connects. Here goes nothing. Oh, wow, that was so easy. That was so easy. Did you see that? And now it says, replace the back cover. Wow. Whew. All right, guys. This is exciting. I'm going to be able to make soda water? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, now this is for the bottle. Fill the carbonating bottle with cold water up to the fill line. I'm just going to rinse it one or two more times to make sure all the dishwasher detergent's out of it. Alright, this bottle's clean now. This bottle's clean now. There it is. There's the fill line. You can see the line. There's the line right there. I'm at the fill line. Right there. Okay. Make sure the bottle rest is tilted out. Okay. There's the bottle rest right there. Insert bottle into the snap lock. Push it up and then back. No need to screw the bottle in. Insert bottleneck into the snap lock. Push it up and then back. Wow. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to push it up and then back. Back means towards the machine. All right, here we go. Why did somebody say Steve is using tap water, LOL? Why, why, did, why did Mrs. Hemminger say that? The tap water here is great. That's what, I, that's, what I, that's what I drink. I can't use tap water? 
Why is it LOL? Does Ms. Hemminger want to say why it's LOL? It just says cold water. That's all it says is cold water. I'm timing out Mrs. Hemminger. She's an idiot. Always critical. Now, Kangaroo Island TV says water needs to be cold to hold gas better. So, so, so is the idea to take water that's previously in the, in the fridge? No, it's, it's literally the instruction shows somebody getting it from the faucet. I'm literally, I'm looking at the instructions. It has somebody filling it from the tap. L -O Steve's using tap water, LOL. Yet the manual itself shows somebody filling it from the tap. Ridiculous. All right, here we go. Push it, push the bottleneck into the snap lock and then push it up, push it up and then down. Okay. Ooh, this is hard. Hold on, I'm letting you, I'm letting you look at this. Push it up. I think it's in, I think it's in. It seems to be in, it's, it's not resting. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see. So it's not actually, the bottom of the bottle is not resting on, on the base. There's space in between here. So it's locked in. It's locked in. I can tell it's locked in because there's space between the bottle and the base. That's how you know. Oops. Try to zoom out. All right, here we go. I, I assume it's ready to go. It's weird though. Why is it? You know what's weird to me? Look at this. I filled it up to the line, but like that thing, the carbonator, it's like barely touching the water. Is that right? It's barely touching the water. Do I need to put a little more? I, I filled the water right up to the line, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'll... I'll it's okay. I'm going to look at the manual again. I, I've, I've been following directions. Ziggy says that is right. What did Polly say? I don't remember what Polly said because I don't see all the comments. People are saying it's good. Okay, we'll see. It's fine. Wait till you hit the button a few times. Okay. Now, we're now into the fizzing. The magic moment fizzing. Firmly push the carbonation button all the way down. This is really the magic moment. Hold the button for one second and then release. Repeat as desired. Three times for standard fizz, five times for strong fizz. So, and then you pull the bottle towards you. So, um, I'm going to push it down for one second and then release it. So, 1,001, release. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to try it a total of three times. Go for five. Why don't I go for three and see how it tastes with three? All right. And then you pull the bottle towards you at the end.
Five is much better. Polly, what did Polly say? Polly says five or more. All right, we'll try. We're going to try five. Polly says five. Polly says five. All right, Polly said five. We're going to do five. Here we go. Ready? We have a lot of chat carbonated water experts. Kangaroo Island says it needs to purge or burp three times. Okay, here we go. 1,001. Here we go. On three, I'm going to do it. One, two, three. 1,001. That was one. Why is it still making noise? That was one. Next one, did it, did, is it working right? 1,002. I don't know if it's working. 1,003. Two more to go. One more to go. I'm holding it down for one second. That's what the instruction said. One second, five times. Oh, it's it spewed out. It says, pull the bottle towards you. All right. Here's the moment of truth. I don't even know that it's carbonated. I don't think it's carbonated. I think it didn't work. We'll see. Ready? I think it didn't work. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's carbonated. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I want to get it in the fridge, though. It's great. There's bubbles. I, it, you can taste the carbonation. All right, I get it. I, I want to taste it when it's cold, so I want to put it in the fridge. But you can see the bubbles. Um, and uh, all right, this is exciting. We're going to have to do a taste test when it's cold. We did it. Wow. That's easy. Now, the question is, now that I have the bottle in the fridge... Uh, Sarah says, chill the bottle in the water, hold on, overnight, and then pump it the next day? Oh, no. So what Sarah is saying is, what you could do is, right, I could have started with cold water. So I could have started by, right, you could put the water in the fridge beforehand, or you can have cold water from the fridge from another bottle and then dump it into this bottle. Right, make the water cold first. That's fine. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Uh, a little bit says cold water works best. So next time I do this, now that bottle, how many ounces does the bottle hold? The, the bottle holds, excuse me. Oh, I think it's one liter. Is it one liter? One liter bottle. It's a fair amount of water. Uh, yeah, it says one liter. So I guess what I need to do, so if I like it and I want to keep using it, uh, yeah, you would, you would want to buy a second bottle, I think. I think you'd want to buy a second bottle. Right. Linda says you'll want to order extra, extra bottles. Because if you have a second bottle, then you can keep one bottle in the fridge with cold water in it. And then when you run out of it, you just fizz up the second bottle. Right? Well, let me see if I like it first. Right? We'll do that. 
Uh, it says that the CO2 gives you cartridge. How much do those cost, by the way? Uh, the CO2 cartridge, I forget how much it gives you. But then what, what does it cost to replace that? Oof. We're going to go back. We're going to head over to the... Uh, I think in a second we're going to... I'll check on my... If I go to Amazon, 60 liters, Manzanita says, six, but 60 liters probably at three, at three presses. I pressed it five times. How long does it take before it goes flat in the bottle? Huh? How about that? You think about that? Um, let's see here. Uh, soda stream. bottle so a replacement bottle is like 15 bucks yes there's one they sell a one liter bottle for 15 bucks so fine that's fine whatever uh sean says it's 30 30 dollars for a terra cartridge boy i don't know i don't know i mean you might end up being better off buying cans But I thought you could return the cartridge. How does that work? Does anyone know? You have to exchange the cartridge. Oh, you mean with Soda Stream? $15 with exchange? I'll go to their website. Soda Stream. Oh, you have to bring it somewhere? Exchange and refill cylinders. Okay, it's $15. It says it says this one is $15. They have a 10% coupon there. $15. And then it says it, you can buy one from SodaStream for $15, but you have to return the cylinder. And but well, how much is shipping cost? What does shipping cost? I'm going to have to run to Target every time. I don't have a Target really near me. I got to do this every time? No, I'm, that's not going to work. Me going to Target's not going to work. How does a cylinder exchange work? Once you get your, once you order your exchange, we'll send you a full cylinder and include a prepaid USPS label. Then you can put your empty cylinders in the same box and put the label on it. Oh, they pay for the shipping. You don't have to pay to ship it back. No, but how much does it cost for them to ship it to you? That's my question. That's my question. Does anyone know? Does anyone know how much it costs? Like if I order one from them. Oh! Uh, the shipping cost is fourteen ninety nine. Oh, but if you order two, the shipping cost is seven ninety nine. So basically, if you order two cartridge two two at a time, it's costing you nineteen dollars for each cylinder. So nineteen dollars for a cylinder, and that gets you forty liters of water at five. At five presses, I think, which means about 50 cents a liter, which means it's kind of like paying like, you know, like 20 cents for a can. Hmm. I'll have to see. I, I don't know if I'm going to start doing the whole replacing. I'm definitely going to use this. Oh, four are, if you order four, it's free to ship. Is that true? If you order four cylinders, it's free. But then you got to, then you got to return four cylinders. Yeah, if you order four cylinders, it's free shipping. You just have to return four cylinders. Right? Or no? Yeah, make sure to return four cylinders. 
I don't have four cylinders to return. They only send you one label. If I order four cylinders, how am I going to return four cylinders? Now that'd be $60. I only have one cylinder to return. Can I return it like a year later? <laughs> yeah, you, you, must, you must return the cylinders no later than 30 days after the placement of your exchange order. So if I order four cylinders, I got to use them in 30 days? That's not happening. <sighs> yeah, Trish says getting soda water from the store is less hassle. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if I, I, the jury is still out whether I'll keep using this after, what, will I keep using this after the fun of using the free one that I was sent? Or will I get annoyed by dealing with the cylinders and the having to buy, no, I don't have a Walmart right near me. No, no Walmart near me. The Target is not very near me. So, I don't know, guys. It's great. I'm very excited about having this. But again, you can buy, uh, like if I want, if I want soda water, I could also just, oh uh, yeah, April Coco says I liked it, but that's why I'm a former user. I mean, no one else lives here. It's just me. Uh, so like if I really, what I used to do, what I've done before is I'll just get cases of soda water cans if I really want soda water and I'll just keep them in the fridge. Uh, this is, and I believe when I looked into this before, for me personally, it was not going to be like a huge savings. It was going to be very minor. Now, it is eco-friendly, as Beth says, in the sense of if I have cans, I, I'm using all the cans. Uh, but uh, another coupon for half off if you buy one at twice the, twice the price. I don't know what that means. So anyways... We'll see. We'll see if I keep it. We will see if I keep it. I know I do recycle the cans, but still. I think I think if you're like a family. I just because normally like if you go like the supermarket, you can buy cans and sometimes there's on they're on the cans are on sale at the supermarket. And it's just so much easier. I don't know. This is a big, it's a big dilemma, guys. It's a big dilemma. What happened to all you people who use this and, and were giving me advice when I was, uh, when I was trying to use it? Now, none of you has advice for, for, for actually operating it long term. What happened to all the advice? No one's defending it now. Where, where are the defenders? I'm not seeing anybody defend it in the chat. Michelle says, I gave up on mine. Huh. Sarah says, the people who use it have Targets or Walmarts nearby. So the idea is if you go to like Target or Walmart, you can just do the exchange there and you don't have to pay for shipping. Yeah, for me, it's not worth it because I, I mean, Target's a little ways away. Got to get the conversion kit. What's the conversion kit? Check your Twitter. Why am I supposed to check my Twitter? Don't say check your Twitter. Tell me why I'm supposed to check my Twitter before I interrupt the whole broadcast to go to, to go on a wild goose chase on Twitter. Buy three more cylinders. Then you return empty one every four, empty, empty ones every four months. But if you buy three more cylinders for full price. Stan the man says that you see quite a few SodaStream uh, in, in thrift stores. 
Yeah, an Arizona jumper says it sounds like a bit much to fit into your non-routine schedule. Uh, yeah, that I agree. Wegmans has the cylinders. That's, can, you, can you return the cylinders to Wegmans? Because I do go to Wegmans sometimes. Where do they list Wegmans? I don't know. Can you do exchanges at Wegmans? Resellers? That's something else. It's already too complex. It's already too complex. It's too complex. What can I say? Zipper says it sounds like a soda stream racket and these cylinders. Doe says return it. I didn't order it. Somebody sent it to me. Polly says I buy three canisters. I send two back at a time and I always have one going. It's always worth it for me. Uh, so so the, 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 uh, the jury is out. We'll see what happens. We'll have to see what happens here with this thing. Oh, it has a little water on it. Well, at this point, I've paid zero dollars for it. But going forward, I might have to pay more for it. Dwayne Jones says, too complex for me. I just don't know. Wegmans stocks them, but do they accept, do they do the exchanges? Give it to the homeless. Thanks, Cindy. You need the carbonator that works with pellets? These are some strange suggestions. Wegmans does exchange them? <laughs> Says who? Mark sent me some adapter hose to refill from bigger bottle. Oh, Mark wants me to get an adapter that I can use a bigger CO2 bottle. I don't have the time to do this. I, I just, I don't have that big of a kitchen. Remember, if I want soda water, I can go buy like just a bunch of cans of soda water. It's not gonna cost me that much more. So this has gotta be, this has gotta be significantly easier than that and cheaper. Anyways, you know, I mean, guys. Then Tyler sent me something. Soda machine adapter hose kit direct connect to so I, I don't have time to deal with this. Yes, anything out of my routine will not work. I'm gonna start dealing with hoses and big tanks. planet is everybody on? All right. I think we're going to head back over to the living room now. I'm going to take you over to the living room and then we'll switch the stream back to the living room. Gene says, not a good deal for you at this time. Hey, I, first of all, I really appreciate whoever sent it because we got to try it out and I will be using it until that, until that can is kicked. Um, so I really do appreciate the person who sent it to me. That's awesome. And we did, we, we have tried it and I will, I will certainly use it. So that's great. It's a great thing to send. But it may end up being given away at the end of the at the end of the uh, at the end of the period. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over to the original stream. You can see me on the original stream. We were doing another stream on the same channel called Live Saturday Night Stream. So I'm going to end the stream from the kitchen that I'm point I'm pointing at you right now. If you're seeing me point at you, I'm going to end this stream and I'm going to keep going on. Go back over to the other stream. Go to the other stream. 
Hey, just out of interest, hey, a quick question. I have a question. This is actually important. So when you watch, you don't have to, you don't have, well, I should be able to tell this myself, actually. I can figure this out myself. I can answer my own question. Give me one second. April says we gave ours to our neighbor. Let me do this. Okay, that does work. All right, guys, I am, I am, uh, this stream, this, the stream from my phone, where I'm pointing at the stream right now, uh, this stream is wrapping up and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go back to the other stream. I know there's no sound on another stream because I don't want to have two sounds at once. So let me get off this stream and I'm going to go over to the other stream, okay? So thanks to everybody watching who's been watching in the kitchen. And hopefully I'll see you over. You can see me on both streams right now. So go over to the stream where I'm in a wide shot uh, on the same channel, all right? So bye to this stream and I'm, I'm going to start the, I'm going to go back to the other stream right now.